Once upon a time, there lived a poor farmer. He owned a very small plot of land where he tried to grow vegetables to feed himself and his wife. Each night, they sat at the dinner table and shared the few bits they had managed to harvest for the day. Often it was only a potato or two and some lettuce leaves. One day the farmer was outside working on his land. All of a sudden he heard a soft honking noise coming from the bushes next to his land. The farmer crept slowly up to the bushes and parted them. Hiding in the branches was a scraggly old goose. Her feathers were sparse and gray. She limped out of the bush, honking forlornly at the farmer. The farmer picked up the goose and took her back indoors to his wife. See here, wife, I have found a goose on our land. Now we won't be so hungry. His wife looked at the goose. Oh, husband, I'm not sure if I can eat this poor creature. She looks so sad and dirty. The farmer had a very kind heart, so he agreed. Okay, wife, he said. We haven't been blessed with children, so perhaps it would be good for you to have something to care for. The farmer and his wife doted on the goose. Although it meant splitting their meager food supply even further, they were glad to have some company for the long winter months. The goose grew fat and happy from the love and care of the couple, sprouting glossy white feathers on a body that grew plump and round. One day in cold winter, the farmer's wife got up in the morning to boil some water for her husband's tea. In the early morning darkness, she tripped and stubbed her toe. Ouch! she cried. That wasn't there last night. Holding up her candle, she saw a goose-sized egg lying in the middle of the kitchen floor. The egg gleamed solid gold. Husband, husband, she cried. Look what the goose has laid for us. An egg? The farmer asked as he followed his wife into the kitchen. Jolly good. We shall have more food for the future. He saw the lustrous egg shining in the middle of the floor. Oh my, he cried. That's made of gold. He lifted the egg from the floor to be sure feeling its weight in his hand. The couple were delighted. They took the egg down to the market, where they exchanged it for enough food to last for many weeks. Their good deed and kindness toward the animal had been repaid. They shared their newfound fortune with the goose, feeding her the finest foods and buying her fresh straw for the box she slept in. Every day, the goose rewarded them again with a beautiful golden egg, which they spent on food and fine clothes. A week passed, and the farmer and his wife were happier than ever. They had spent every egg the goose had laid, but it didn't matter. Every day she laid another. The wealth had started to poison the farmer's mind. He became angry with the goose. Why can't you lay two eggs a day? He shouted. I could be as rich and powerful as the king. With that, he kicked the goose hard across the kitchen. She made a sad little honking noise. The goose was far too smart for the farmer. She hated being kicked. She knew it was because the gold was making him greedy and mean. That night, she waddled out of her box in the kitchen and disappeared into the night. She was off to find someone who would appreciate her, enjoy her gold, and never kick her or shout at her. The farmer and his wife didn't deserve her anymore. The farmer found the empty box in the morning, 
Realizing the error of his ways, he wept. Now he had no eggs and no goose to lay them. If only I had been nicer to the goose, the farmer wailed. I was far too greedy. I have learned my lesson. Never hurt those who are good to you. Repay them only with kindness, or you may lose them forever. In just a few weeks' time, the farmer and his wife were poor all over again.